Good afternoon slash evening, I guess, everybody. Uh, welcome to Don Amot here in Hilton. My name's Steve, for those of you that already don't know. And today's video is a new into stock, ideal for families, uh, roller team auto roller 746. Now, it is a five traveling, six sleeping, 7.47 meter long motorhome from the roller team brand, which part of the Trigano group. So auto trail are also part of that group. Um, great thing about it is it's only three and a half ton, so it can be driven on a C1 driving license. Um, so let's take a walk around it. So it's on the 2.3, 140 brake horsepower manual Fiat chassis. So starting off down the side, you've got your LPG there, which is enough for two six kilogram. We'll come back to the habitation door in a minute. Your Fiamma F45S awning is already pre-installed, so you haven't got to worry about buying an awning. There is a decent garage on these, and you can actually shut the garage doors up and lock them open yeah. by using that there, but it goes all the way through. So you've got enough room in there for a lot of things and you've got tether points as well. So you can store things on there if you want and you can access that from both sides. Yeah. So this side and the other side. Round to the back. Previous customer has included a four bike bike rack, not electric bikes, normal bikes. And you've got a rear, re rear view reversing camera. So in this really nice sort of off gray color as well around here. That is the other access point, as I said, to your garage. Toilet cassette in there, water fill in there, and then your electric point is around the other side. And then under there, that's just another locker to put a couple of like valuables. Um, don't hide your dog in there, but you can put a couple of bits and bobs. Obviously, you'll appreciate or realise that it is got an over cab bed. So, let's walk around and head on in. I'm racing because Wendy wants to go home. So... Got your fly screen to your habitation door and it's also got your habitation door bin. Jumping in and we'll start at the front as we do normally. Twin swivelling captain seats. Yep. It's got the Zent stereo system which is where your reversing camera comes out um, as well and it's got Bluetooth, DAB etc etc. Cruise control and speed limit control on your steering wheel and Bluetooth connectivity as well. Um, pretty standard cab as you get from Fiat's crew, um, climate control on there and USB and 12 volt charging point as well and then the seats are in this lovely leather which is the cream and grey leather seating um, and that obviously transfers through to the whole of the, the, the rest of the van. Above Wendy's head when she steps out yeah. you've got an absolutely massive, probably a queen size bed, it's huge up there. Um, Look at that, flipping it, Wendy, you go steady. <laughs> Wendy's gone all brave. Um, so it's a massive bed, really good space up there. There is lighting up there. And then in the top corner where Wendy's just sort of showing you behind, there is a vent for the heating as well. So you can actually uh, have, have heating up there. And then the good thing, if I don't want to move it without because Wendy will fall off. You can lift it up and it will stay on your gas struts for your headspace as well. So you could store things behind it, leave it up there. And then, I mean, I'm probably all right, but you're not going to headbutt that. <laughs> Decent amount of locker space, so you've got locker up there, three more behind Wendy on the front lounge. So here is your front lounge area. This table is removable um, and also it will drop down to the next level to form the base for your bed. And the other thing that I like about this is there's little teeth underneath the, the table, so at the minute it's not going anywhere. Yeah. But if I lift it, I can move it Ooh. and drop it back down and it will rest on the teeth again and stay where it is. So if you sit in here and you want more leg space, you can. Underneath there as well, there is a heating port and also two USB sockets mm -hmm. at the back. Flipping round, on this side, three decent sized drawers. And then underneath here, <laughs> a bit of strength, is your first bracket for a TV. And then you'll just push that out of the way. So, um, as I said, this one is five travelling. So you two people at the front, and then you've got two belts on this side and one belt on that side. So um, it will travel five, like I said, sleep six, because this will form a bed. You've got your overcab bed, and then we'll work our way down to yeah. the rear lounge. Well-equipped kitchen with three gas burners there. Decent size space for your worktop, and you've got an extra worktop just there. 
three way fridge pretty standard stuff combi oven and grill and then under there is a little bit of storage and your isolation switches for your gas nice big sink so nice and wide and then a little bit of storage here for you know kitchen roll and things and then above you've also got more storage and there is a solar panel as well because that's your controller just there the wardrobe is a decent sized wardrobe and you'll notice something flashing in there which is your iNet box so it's got the Truma heating with the iNet connectivity and then also you've got a freestanding table to the right of there for your rear lounge and then more storage under here this is probably your pots and pans cutlery drawers etc etc in there and in there a nice size shower room that duck board so you remove that duck board for when you're showering and then there is a concertina door that will come around and form a square so it is a nice big um, bathroom area and then uh, you can put the duck board in which means you can just walk around and use your sink and have it as just a, a daily user as well <clears throat> and then into the back huge so loads of room here so this rear lounge is massive um, and th there's loads of space you can put your feet up and chill out it's probably almost six foot long at that point um, this will form your final bed so there's infills um, above the over cab bed so if you imagine how big this bed is when it's made up it is a massive bed um, more storage up above another TV bracket just here so you can have a TV in the back as well as a TV in the front even room for put your drinks for a brew um, yeah. so when you've got it made up as a bed a couple of little holders either side for your um, for your drinks and there's speakers in the back as well so if you've got music playing from the front there's also speakers in the rear every every window that opens does have a fly screen from the top and a blind from the bottom which locks into place so they're quite cool so you can actually half open and half shut and most of them are either open or shut and then you push that and that will drop down and that's pretty much the same in all of them but it's um, it's a pretty decent size and if it will let me turn the lights on um, earlier on it, it wasn't it wouldn't because the the battery was low but if it will let me turn the lights on you'll, you'll see um, how nice the lighting is but I don't think it's playing um, no it's uh, it's not it's not having a having a play but the the lighting in it is lovely as well so you get like strip lights all behind here so this will all light up lighting all down here as well um, uh, all of these underneath here actually touch touch lights so you see that little blue dot there you see it's gone out and it's gone on so when you're pressing that when you've got power these lights all light up so you can individually turn them off so there's one under there strip light under there um, strip lights all around the back so it's quite um, you know quite unique in terms of loads of different options for your lights and it is quite bright and airy when you're in here especially with also the skylight and the skylight at the back anyway I'm waffling on so thanks for watching really, really appreciate it this will be on our showground today and available to view on our website tomorrow as i said we don't really get that many six births in um so ideal for families also ideal if it is just the two of you and you want a bit of space best thing about these layouts is you've got a lounge at the back and a lounge at the front so if one of you's working and one of you's chilling then it's just perfect for you so um if you are interested in this one or anything similar pick up the phone ask to speak to me steve because i'd love to look after you and i'd love to be able to show you around in person thanks for watching and uh, i'll see you on the flip side Ta -da.